welcome back to my channel. It's me after like six months. <laughs> this is my first video in English, which is very exciting. I'm very excited to start speaking English. I've been getting a lot of requests, which makes me really happy. So this is for you guys. <laughs> I just quickly need to do some disclaimers. So I'm editing the video right now and I'm realizing that I said like this throughout the whole video basically so please don't come for me and by the way i feel like such a youtuber like hey guys doing my photo booth video disclaimers but i really have to do some disclaimers because i also clap a lot in the video and i don't know why i have a tendency to do so and i tend to just like edit it out i also feel like i owe you an explanation of why i was gone for so long and that is because i've been really sick actually i started getting sick like around Christmas times and I was ill for like three months and nobody really knew what was wrong. I was admitted to hospital and I had crazy terrible rashes all over my body and I had big like liquid wounds in my face and I was so scared and I was so sad and I couldn't do modeling. I wasn't comfortable to be on social media so I just needed to take a break and I finally came to the right doctors and they gave me the right medication and now I'm good as normal. YouTube is really one of my biggest passions and I'm so excited to start doing videos again. So yeah, now I'm back. I'm healthy. I'm going to do YouTube videos again. And yeah, I feel like I talk too much, but that was the disclaimers. Enjoy the video. Good night. Today I'm doing a try on haul slash mini lookbook, I guess, because I've been to London. <coughs> I did some shopping and I've been thinking a lot more about environment as I've gotten older. My goal was to buy less but better quality. This haul isn't too big but I'm really happy with the things I got. Thank you so 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 much for watching this video. I hope you will enjoy it and if you do so, Please feel free to give it a thumbs up, like, no, that's the same. Give it a like or a thumbs up, I don't know. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to comment something if you want to, you know. And also feel free to follow me on Instagram, I will put it somewhere here. By the way, I was a little heavy handed with my bronzer today. <laughs> so, yeah, bear with me. Once we know what we are, we're the stars and me. I don't wear a bra today. This is actually the first outfit. It's only the belt and the pants and the shoes that I bought in London this time, but I really wanted to make outfits. It's uh, basically all from Brandy Melville. This one, it's just like a cropped zip up hoodie. And then it's this really nice belt that I bought from Brandy Melville in London. And what I like about this is that it has like several holes, so you can like tighten it as much as you want to. And then it's this uh, bag that I actually bought in London the last time I was there. And it's from Topshop, but it's from the brand Absence of Color. I usually use it as a purse, like this. And then it's these pants that also are from Brandon Melville. And what I really like about these is that I'm really tall. I'm like over 180 centimeters. They're really long and they're boyfriend jeans slash mom jeans. And what I really also like about them is the color. They're kind of like a bleached, washed denim, if that's what it's called. I don't know. And they're a little too big, which is why I bought the belt with it. And then I'm wearing my new Nike Air Force. I can give you like a closer photo of them or something. My mom will actually be so mad if she finds out I'm wearing shoes inside. That's the shoes and hope you like it. This is the next item I bought, which is a coat and it's from Zara. It's the only thing I bought from Zara. And it's this, I don't know. Uh, it's a blazer. It's a blazer with like a thick belt, thick. I low-key feel like a boss or like a spy in this one because it has like shoulder pads and it's really like sophisticated and it was actually called a blazer dress so I think you can use it as a dress as well and I would basically wear them with these jeans that I showed you in the previous look 
It's a little bit short in my arms, so I usually wear like a black turtleneck or something under, which I'm doing now. This is, by the way, also from Sara, but I got it in Norway. Stina is actually visiting from Oslo, as you maybe saw already in the vlog or in the studio. And she has this purse. It's like a imitated snakeskin bag. It's from Sara, isn't it? Yes, it's from Sara. Yes. And I'm just obsessed with it. So this is not mine, but it's something I would wear with this outfit. It's just really like boss, casual, slay, queen. You get the vibe. I'm also wearing this ring, which I like always wear. This is the second look. Hope you liked it. Bye. This is the next item, which is this Helmut Lang hoodie. It's like black and oversized. These shoes are giving me ASMR real I have been dreaming of a Helmut Lang hoodie for like since Christmas now. And I finally got one and I really love it. And I'm wearing this with my favorite leather pants, which you probably will see in a lot of my vlogs because I wear them basically all the time. And my latex, I don't know, leather, I don't know, um, shiny black Dr. Martens. I just really love wearing all black and I like all the different materials with the shiny leather on the shoes, the leather pants, the hoodie and the chain thing here. I didn't shave my armpits, so I'm not gonna lift my arms to avoid that situation. And I know I'm so pale, but I haven't been like really in the sun yet. You know, I've been inside all winter. This is the only dress I bought on the trip. It's like a black silk dress. It's from Topshop. This was only 250 kroners, which was the reason I bought it. And I think that's like $25, I don't know. And it's quite short. I would wear this with my new Nike Air Forces. Maybe I have some eczema on my legs. Sorry about that. Or not really sorry. Sorry, not sorry. And this little belt bag slash fanny pack in the way that we're from Louis Vuitton and I inherited this from my mom. So it means a lot to me and it's really practical because you can just like put your things in here and yeah. I will attend a few festivals this summer and this is definitely a look I will wear. By the way, this belt, I can usually like tie it prettier, but this is just like for the video. So, yeah. And this is the fabric. It's really just like soft and silky. And this is the details. Now we've come to the last outfit and this is the last piece. It's this uh, Brenda Melville hoodie that says Hellraiser in the front. And it has some kind of dragon with some brown details i think on the back it's like a dark gray color slash washed black if that makes sense and it's really oversized so i just like to tuck it in my pants i'm wearing it with my nikes and yeah the belt and the pants that i showed you earlier this is a close-up of the back hoodie <laughs> oh my god i'm such a tumbler girl i'm cold i love fall <laughs> The last thing I bought was this bag from Louis Vuitton. I really, really, really love Louis. This is the bag. It's called the Bois Chapeau Souple, I guess. I don't want to... Ah, that was really cringy. <laughs> you can like put the straps under so they look like this. Oh. And you can have it longer or shorter. And it's just really cute. I really love it. And I got it for my 18th birthday. So yeah, it means a lot to me. Now my camera is running low of battery, so I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you liked my first English video. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up or a like and comment if you want to. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, I will see you on the next one.